in solving the immigration problem is just focus on what it means to be an American. And that's the key to this problem. And an American is an idea. No group owns being an American. Nobody owns this. It's an idea that's unique to the planet. And one of the centerpieces of this idea is that you come here trying to knock it out of the park as a person. You come here with, uh, with, with all the hopes and dreams for the future generations of your family. And the reason that I have gotten involved in this is because Senator McCain started talking to me about it from an Arizona perspective. And I want to thank John McCain for being a leader. And I don't do this much, but I want to thank Ted Kennedy. <laughs> because those two gentlemen got this thing started, and the rest of us are kind to figure out how to get there. And I, and I promise you, I'll, I'll end this soon. But the young lady that you saw on the screen, she touched my heart. Our immigration system is broken, and we need to find a way to get people right with the law. We need to find a way to get people right with the law. But once we try to find that way, we also need to understand that if the law means anything, you have to have a just result. And as a nation, we have looked the other way. We have welcomed the workers to do things that our economy needs to do. Then all of a sudden, we start talking about how bad this problem is. We've all let it get out of control, and all of us have to fix it. And as to why I'm here tonight, Dan Garza was the first person I met on Shaw Air Force Base. He was the NCOIC of our office. I was a young captain who knew almost nothing about the Air Force. And I come through the gate, and the first person I met was Dan. And he scared the heck out of me. He looked like a poster person for the Air Force. You could eat off his uniform was immaculate. He had a military bearing about him that to this day just awed me. And Dan took me under his wing. And he showed me where to go and how to get to be a captain in the Air Force. And I got to be a very good friend of Dan Garza. And until that day, I had really had no interaction in my life with Hispanic community. And through Dan, I got to be part of his family and the Hispanic community on Shaw Air Force Base. And let me tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, of all the people I've met in my time in the military, I have never met a better American than Dan Garza. <clears throat> and on behalf of the Dan Garzas in the world, we are going to solve this problem. We're not going to run people down. We're not going to scapegoat people. We're going to tell the biggest to shut up, and we're going to get this right.